I want to give you guys the truth about the Mayan calendar because I, I have never seen it mentioned in the mainstream media, not even once. There is rampant disinformation about this subject. The only real non-debated evidence that we have on record that is directly associated with this date right here and that is not debated by any scholars or archaeologists is what is found on Monument 6. And these are the translations right here. I have three different archaeological teams that have translated Monument 6. That's what I'm going to talk about. But I just want to give you a short history here before I do that for anyone that's interested in hearing about it. Um, in the 1400s, Christopher Columbus belie had believed that his discovery of the New World would lead to the apocalypse be because he had read the writings of, Pierre, of a bishop named Pierre Daly. So Pierre Daly had believed that the Mayan legends were about the apocalypse. That was in the 1400s. Then again, in the early 1900s, this scholar right here had translated the Dresden Codex, the last page of the Dresden Codex, as representing the destruction of the world by a cataclysmic flood. Again, in 1946, Harvard archaeologist Sylvanus Morley agreed with that and said that the Dresden Codex was talking about a cataclysmic flood. In 1966, archaeologist and anthropologist Michael Coe said that this, that it, again, he said that it was talking about it, an, an Armageddon or a destruction that would happen when the great cycle of the long count is completed. Well, here's the thing. There is debate over whether or not the long count completes on December 2012. There is debate about that. However, the general 500-year consensus among archaeologists and, and scholars was that the Mayan texts were talking about an apocalypse. It was only in the last 30 years that scholars have now come out and said, no, it's not talking about that. But when you compare 500 years of data and research from archaeologists compared to 30 years, there's just not even a comparison. This is what the Mayan texts are talking about, regardless of what they're telling you now. They're lying. Okay? I'm sorry if I sound irritated. I'm just... I'm sick of the disinformation. There's so much lies, and it really it makes me angry. Um... There is also no debate about the start date of the current great cycle, which lasts 5,125 years approximately. There's no debate about this because archaeologists Joseph Goodman, Juan Martinez, and Eric Thompson came up with what is called the GMT correlation. And what they did was they compared historical, archaeological, and astronomical data from both the Mayans and the Europeans and they match them together. They match those two calendars together. So as there's no debate amongst scholars and even um, archaeologist Michael Coe had said in 1992, he said there is now not the slightest chance that these three scholars were not right. So there's no debate. The great cycle started here. Okay. But there is debate over how long the Great Cycle is. Because Sylvanus Morley up here, Harvard archaeologist Sylvanus Morley, apparently, according to some scholars now, had believed that the Great Cycle lasted more like 7,000 years, which would, which would put its end... Um, like in 4776 AD or something. Okay, so there is, ev there is debate over that. There is debate about when the end is, but there's no debate about when the beginning of it was, the beginning of the current cycle. It started here. Therefore, 
there is no debate that this date right here found on the Monument 6 does correspond to either December 21st, 22nd, or 23rd of 2012. There's no debate about that. So this is the only um, evidence that matters. I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say that. It, it's the only concrete, solid, non-debatable evidence that we have that, that has anything, any association with December 21st to the 23rd of 2012. The reason that the end date of the Great Cycle is debatable is because, A, like I said, some people believe that there's 20 Bakhtuns in a Great Cycle instead of 13. And secondly, because um, the Mayans say we're in the fourth Great Cycle and the Aztecs say we're in the fifth. Well, if we're in the fourth, then that means we're not completing the Great Year. The Great Year is five Great Cycles. So the great year is approximately 26,000 years, and the great cycle is approximately 5,000 years. All of this stuff is, de is debatable. There's a minority that believes this, that believes that it ends here. A, a small, very minor. In fact, I only know of one scholar that believes that. But the point is, it is debatable, okay? And also, it's debatable on whether or not we're in the fourth or the fifth. So we don't really know that we're, or I, I do, I cannot say, I have not found any proof that we're ending the 26,000 year cycle. That doesn't mean that we're not. It just means me right now, I have not found the proof. So my conclusion is that, yes, the scholars and archaeologists say that there is a cataclysm at the end of the great cycle. However, they don't agree when the great cycle ends. Um, and the only thing that they all agree on is that this date right here is on Monument 6. So let's just skip down to that. And you can pause to read this other stuff if you want to. These are the ar these are three different archaeological teams that ins that translated the inscriptions on Monument Six that is associated with this date. In 1996, archaeologists Stephen Houston and David Stewart said the tra translated it as saying the 13th Bakhtun will be finished on Forahau, the third of Kankin. Unknown will occur. It will be the descent of the nine support unknown gods to the unknown. In 2000, scholars Nikolai Grube, Martin Zender, and Simon Martin translated it as saying, It will happen, unknown, he will descend. And in 2010, Sven Gronemeyer and Mar Barbara McLeod translated it as saying, It will be completed, the 13th Bakhtun. It is for a jaw, three kankin, and it will happen, a seeing, unknown. It is the display of Bolognokta in a great investiture. This, that is, this is the facts, and they are not debated. This is why you will not ever see this on the mainstream news. So if we really, truly want to understand what this Mayan Monument 6 is really saying about December 2012, we need to understand what Bolognokto is. And according to Jeff Stray, the name in, uh, in the other Mayan text is associated with dangerous transition times, eclipses, natural disasters, and the creation of new worlds. Marcus Eberl and Christian Prager say that the name Bolognoktuko is composed of the elements nine and God, but the rest is unknown. It's almost a no-brainer. We know that many ancient cultures around the world referred to the planets as gods. We also know that in recent years we've learned that our solar system has only eight planets. 
since it is now common knowledge that Pluto is only one out of five or so dwarf planets in the Cooper Belt. It is smaller than Earth's moon, and it is no longer considered a planet because it's not, because there are over 60 Cooper Belt objects. And only five or six of, and five or six of them are dwar are considered dwarf planets. So we only have eight planets in our solar system right now. We also know that astronomers have been searching for Planet X since the, at least the 1700s because they noticed disruptions in the in the orbits of the outer planets. Therefore, it is not unreasonable to ask the question: Is Bolognyoktu the ninth planet, planet X. Is that what the Mayans were talking about? The ninth planet. On, it is December 21st through the 23rd, 2012, and it will happen a seeing. It is the display of the ninth planet in a great event. Is that what it's saying? It is not unreasonable to ask that question. Okay? The second question that I would ask is, since December 21st through the 23rd is the winter solstice, is that, was that the start of the year for the ancient, ancient, ancient Mayans? It is not unreasonable to ask that question. And if that was the beginning of their year, then could they have been saying that we will see this ninth planet in the sky sometime in this year, meaning starting in the winter solstice 2012 and ending in the winter solstice 2013? Is that what they were saying? It's not unreasonable to ask if that's what they were saying. In other words, will we see planet X in the sky in, tw in the year 2013 sometime? Um, and then, you know, this, that, this thing that I wrote just goes on to talk about the um, precession of the axis, which I won't get into now, but you can pause to read that if you want to. Um, it just questions whether or not the Mayans were actually calculating because they were astronomers. Were they calculating the actual precessional cycle of the axis, which <clears throat> I'll just say, scientists are now... Um, are now saying that they believe that possibly are that we exist in a binary solar system and there are some scientists that that believe possibly that the second sun in our solar system is serious they're they're researching that at the binary research institute which leads us right to the egyptians who had been talking about the star sirius all along and in their hieroglyphs, they show this red planet in the horns of the bull. They show it smaller over Orion, which if you've ever looked, I will show you in my next video um, in Stellarium that S Sirius is right next to Orion and Taurus is right next to Orion. They're all lined up. So is there a planet coming out of, coming from Sirius? passing through Orion, and then passing through Taurus's, the horns of the bull. I don't know, but it's not unreasonable to ask that question. And I think that there is probably a very good reason why you have not heard this information in the mainstream media. So I'm going to make another video about this for people who would rather read it across the screen. I made this for people who would rather hear, hear it spoken. Um, and that's what it's about. That is the truth. That is the only thing that is not debated about what the Mayans said was happening December 2012. It's the only thing not debated.